Welcome to the TPC Desktop video series. In this video, we'll take a look at one of the COBO routines called Offset to Align. I've got some uh, utilities down around the southwest corner of this lot. I'm just going to zoom in here. And we just want to do some quick checking on these uh, to see how far, our, how far off the property lines they are here. And I'm going to use a Kogo tool called Offset to Line. So I'm going to click the first one here. Go to Kogo. And let's find our Offset to Line right here. Wait for this thing to open up. And I want to uh, find out how far this point oh, 101 is. I'm going to pick this line right here with the chevron. I'm just going to come down and pick this line from 1 to 2 here. And Traverse BC now really has everything it needs. Uh, I know that I'm offsetting from this line from 1 to 2. Gives me the bearing. I'm offsetting point 101. And I'm interested in the perpendicular offset. If I want, I can compute a point on line where this point is perpendicular. So I can put a point right here on the line that's perpendicular to this point. Or I can just accept this information the way it is. And really, I've, I've got what I want, including, look at this, distance from the start of the line. And it tells me, as I look from 1 to 2, this point is to the right of the line. So usually what I'll do is that I'll say, I've got a number of these I want to do. So I'm just going to hit the summary. And Traverse BC adds this to the current report. So I know that uh, I've got this offset. Okay, And uh, here's the information that's given, tangent from 1 to 2. And I want to compute the offset from 101. Here's all the information. Okay, So I'm just going to kind of leave some chicken tracks here for what I'm doing. Now, if I want to pick up the offset of this point to this line also, then I just select the point. So I come back to my dialog. I say instead of 101, I want this next one. So I, I'm not even concerned necessarily about uh, the labeling of these points. I can just pick it right here. And now I can see I've got an offset of 11 feet. Uh, distance from the start is 19. So I'm going to add that to my summary as well. So here's my first point. Here's my second point. Now I want to do the same thing, but to the curve over here. So I'm going to come and select that curve. It doesn't matter uh, which end of the line I pick. If, if I pick near point 1 or 1 colon 1, which is actually the point where the, the line ends, then my direction right or left is going to be from this end of the line to the other. So in this particular case, this point 100 is going to be to the right of this line. And that's what the dialog tells me. It says it's to the right of the line. 15 point feet from the start of the line, which is point 0.1 colon 1. I'm going to add that to my summary. Come down and uh, pick the next point right here. Point 0.102, add that to my summary. So I'm using the summary in addition to the uh, Kogo dialog here uh, to get me the information I want. And I come down real quickly and uh, say real, you know, just real quickly that this point is offset 10.4 feet this point is offset 11.1 feet. That's from that south line, tangent from 1 to 2. And then as I drop down, I'm now dealing with the curve counterclockwise from 5 to 1. And I see that um, my computed distance is offset 17.38 feet for this point 100. And I'm offset 14.36 feet uh, for this next point. Now, this is kind of the Kogo report way to do it. Uh, I also can just come in here real quickly and say I want to draw this um, oops, dynamic offset. And I could put this in real quick and just say I want to insert from the insert of this point. I want to go perpendicular to this line. And I'm going to get that same distance, but then I would have to delete that uh, once I don't want the distance anymore. So I, I sometimes use that report just to get a bunch of offsets real quick and kind of make sure I'm, I'm where I think I am. And, and I like the, the reports for that. 